Let's now take a look at a number of examples of how we can use the Laplace transform techniques to analyze circuits in the frequency domain. To do so, we're going to start out in the time domain, where we have, in this case, just a simple RC circuit, looking at the natural response. When the switch closes at t equals 0, when there's an initial voltage of V0 on here, we want to determine the voltage across the resistor as this capacitor discharges. So our first step, then, is to transform it into the frequency domain. The capacitor comes in as a capacitor with an impedance of 1 over SC. The initial condition of V equals V0 comes in as a voltage source in series with that capacitor as V0 over S. Then, of course, the resistor is just what it is. And at this point, we're looking only at T greater than 0, so we don't even show the switch there. To analyze this, it's pretty straightforward. We know that the current here, I of S, is going to equal the voltage divided by the sum of those two series impedances. Or we've got then V0 over S is equal to 1 over SC plus R times I. If we solve for I, we get then that I is equal to V0 over S, and then dividing both sides by that gives us a 1 over SC plus R here in the denominator on that side. Now, we want to get this into its standard form, which is a form that's ready to transform it back into the time domain using the tables, which means getting S in the denominator, the highest power of S with a coefficient of 1, and then the lower powers of S um, falling however they may. So with this, then, let's go ahead and distribute the S on through. And when we do that, we get then that I is equal to V0 over 1 over C, the S is canceled there, plus R times S. Now to get S all by itself, the highest power of S in the denominator is S to the first power. So to get this term with just a 1 in front of it, we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by 1 over R, which then gives us V0 over R in the numerator divided by S plus 1 over RC in the denominator. In this form, we have a constant in the numerator. And in the denominator, it's of the form S plus A. So we have a constant over some constant over S plus A, which when we go to the tables, that transforms to KE to the minus a times t, u of t, running out of room there. So on this, then, we see that a is equal to 1 over rc. The constant is v over r. And we have, then, going back into the time domain, since this is i of s, coming back into the time domain, we'll have i of t, then, is equal to the constant v naught over r times e to the minus a, but a is 1 over rc times t, u of t. So we recognize that from our previous studies as simply the current in this, actually in this time domain circuit, the current that would be flowing starting at an initial current of V0 over R at t equals 0, e to the minus 0 is 1. So it starts at V0 over R and dies out exponentially. We can solve for V of t by simply taking I of t and multiplying it by R, which then gives us V0 e to the minus 1 over RC T. And in general, we, again, we go back to when we were looking at RL and RC circuits. The general form of this type of RC um, circuit, whether it's in the, in the natural response or the step response, just to close the loop, this is one form of that X of T is equal to X final plus X initial minus X final e to the minus t over tau, where tau, the time constant, is equal to rc. So this just gives us a, a nice feel-good that this process will work and gives us a solution that we recognize from times past.